200 years. Eileen and Angela are with us later. Storm will join us for the papers and everything else, and we'll discuss whether flirting with a chat bot is cheating on your partner. And I'm going to try and um, what's the, throw some moves. Woo it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to oh. try and woo a chat bot. I bet you can't wait. Go it. Use some some uh, classic lines. What is it? Get your coat put. You've pulled. Put your coat yeah. on. You've pulled. Yeah. Okay. Um, first, I want your calls on this. Should we stop keeping pets as snakes? 0207862222 is the number. Love to hear from you. Three police officers in Birmingham rescued a boa constrictor using a broom and a pillowcase after spotting it in the middle of the road. So it's a police issue pillowcase they've got. The python was taken to the local reptile centre. Uh, you can see it, they were put in the bag there. It was determined that it was likely to escape pet, um, said it's had a lovely temperament, crucially was no danger to anyone. Um, similar situation in Renfrewshire, actually, where a, a guy took his snakes to a park in Scotland and locals in Paisley were urged to call the police. But others said, look, they're all perfectly happy. He's sunbathing, they're sunbathing. What is the problem? Why not take your snake to a park? So there you can see, I think this must be one of the Renfrewshire snakes here. What's wrong with that? So, and, and in the end, people thought, well, there's no rule against it. That was the official statement. We've never said you can't. So let's... <laughs> they can't rule everything out, can they? So let's see how cuddly snakes are. With us in the studio today is Feather Boa. Now, Feather Boa is a 10-foot <laughs> python, and Feather Boa has brought in his handler, Donna Rose. Is it a he or a she? It's a she. It's a she, it so a she. Feather Boa and, and Donna. And I can see those... It's funny with snakes. It's just the eyes are so blank, aren't they? Oh, no, I'm looking at the wrong place. <laughs> Um, they are. That's a, oh my goodness me! Oh my goodness! There is that primal fear. Of course, but I think there's a fear of anything unknown. But once you get to know an animal's body language, mm. how it moves, you can read them. You know when to leave them alone. But I. So up. so we've got this shot of you with it. It's amazing with it there around your neck. And um, oh, I can hear it hissing. Hang on. She's hissing. She. She's huffing and puffing. She's OK. She's fine. She's calm. She's got a lovely... And if I stroke <laughs> her like that, that's fine. And you're going to give me... I'm going to... ..a little moment with a feather burr. Yeah. <laughs> OK, she... We're just trying... To, so once... This did happen to me once before, and what happened was that I was fine until he just gave me a... She gave me a gentle squeeze, so right? So they'll normally do that to try and get the warmth from your body. It's cold My blood goodness, is animals, is... they can die if they get too cold. Yeah, because the squeeze to me warm. gave the message you are one second from death. <laughs> That's what the squeeze said. Ah, oh, now, hang on. I think we're getting on here. And does she bite at all, or...? Any animal can bite, but yes. they only bite if they feel threatened or... or yeah, murdered. she's coming off a bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just like yeah, a, yeah. Beautiful mic. Of course. Pashmina. And and <laughs> isn't that? I mean, oh, I think she knows you're the owner, you know, because she's now thinking, okay. "Hang on, where's Donna gone?" So so there we go. Look at this. This is all simple and lovely, isn't it, Angela? <laughs> and at the moment, Featherbear is not trying to constrict me, but I the the power in these things when they try to constrict you, you're gone in 15 seconds. They're solid muscle. Yeah, it's it's amazing. And I don't see at the moment any signs of her squeezing, but I'll let you know if it happens. She might get cheesed off if we do this too much. The best so, thing to do is relax. Yeah, no, I'm very relaxed. <laughs> uh, Paul in Hull, should people keep snakes as pets? Um, personally, I would say people should do keep, keep snakes as pets. Looking from the, what I'm seeing, the smile from the lady that has her, that's um, describing her pet, they, that's a joy. You can't yeah. take it away from her, you see. Yeah, so see, Donna's a joy. Joy for Donna. Yeah. Yeah. Would you yeah. take your, Would you take Featherborough to a park? Um, we actually do uh, animal therapy and lots of things. So we take our snakes everywhere to care homes, oh, to schools, brilliant. to the pub, you know, everywhere. Um, but I think it's really important. It's not the animals so much as a danger. For me, I think it's more the owners and the sense of yeah. being res a responsible pet owner. Thank you, Paul. Mylene, would you take your snake to a park? I love snakes. Do you? I well, come on, you can. Do you want to come over I, and have a little I, moment? 
Death. Come on, come on over. Can come I? Over. Yeah, because Mylene is doing the show next week, right? Mylene is doing the show next week, so practicing with a snake is a very good start. As we mean to okay, go on. that's fine. Oh, my goodness. He doesn't want to leave me. He doesn't want to leave me. You might be slightly tall for me. Oh, my God. Here you go. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. Gorgeous. That's because you've been Look in the that. jungle. That oh, do you know what? It's gorgeous. It, it has that feeling that it's just naturally wrapping there around you. There is a you. lot of pattern going on there today. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Feather the Boa. Person's looking... The python's Just looking like at you. me as if to say, wait, I'm going to be back with him. He's saying lunch. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to have a snake, and then I realised what I'd have to feed them and where I'd have to keep the food in the fridge and I just thought maybe yeah, not. Yeah, you can you get them, frozen, you buy them in Do you have to give them mice? Where do you mice? buy them? I'm talking about the mice. Uh, you can buy them from any pet shop. Yeah, yeah I just didn't know about that in the fridge. But, um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, how many mice a day would it eat? Uh, she doesn't actually eat um, very regularly. Snakes can go for months and months and months without eating. Right. Boas in particular are quite fussy eaters. So uh, she would eat one sort of giant rat depending on how hungry it could be. She might eat once a week or she might not eat for four months. So I'm just stroking the snake here. Yeah. Snake. Um, Angela, I, I, would you? I, no, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind having a stroke just because I like... Come on, come on over. I do, like over. New, I do like new experiences, so I'm always happy to stroke something new. But thank you, Mrs. Slocum. <laughs> Stand back. <laughs> don't mind me stroking you. Isn't that lovely? Look at this. Yeah, but... Oh, I think they oh, feel slimy, name. but they don't. They're they really don't feel no. slimy. They do. Yeah. And, and I can see... That not even clammy. There's a slight coolness to there it. There is a coolness. I think it might be my yeah. shirt. But I'm the <laughs> intelligence... So direct heat, they will start to But I do them. think... I do think, to come back to your original point... Hello, Rover. You see what I, I mean about the eyes? I was looking at the wrong... Thing. Why were you um, looking at well, the this, wrong this, end? This black marking there, I thought oh, it was its I eye, and, I, and it looked Oops. just lethal. Oh, she's lovely. <laughs> I do worry about taking it to... Is that its end or its yes, beginning? Yes, that, that's yeah. its um, end, yeah. I do worry about being taken to the park because, because, as you said, there is a primal fear of these things and, and the, the idea of scaring... Them, you can't suddenly put it on a lead. I mean, can it just shoot off? Now, it depends on How the fast can it snake. Go? Obviously, there's thousands and thousands of types of snakes. Boas and pythons are generally quite docile and a lot slower. Um, so, no, there's not a danger of a, a boa or a python shooting off. That's not going right. to happen. It's, it's the, not quick enough. And but I haven't seen it. Can. It hasn't done that forked tongue thing where it's just tasting the air. Does it occasionally do that? Uh, yeah, all the time. Yeah? OK, well, we'll just watch out for that. Just think of the jungle book. Um, Marcus in East Sussex, hello. Hello, good morning. Is it OK to keep a snake as a pet? Oh, absolutely so. Absolutely agree. Yeah, and would you take it to the park? Um, yes, yes, indeed, and I have done. You have done. So how often have you walked your snakes in the park, Marcus? Um, I live down the south coast and they used to take it out on the square and the grass. Lovely. And days of groups of students came up and so they all had photographs. And um, because of work commitments and relocation, I donated the snake to Birmingham Snake Sanctuary. Oh, and, OK. Uh, so it's alive and well. 13 Good. foot long, it's now taken to school for educational purposes. How, 30 foot long, your snake? 13, 13, one three. How long is this one? Well, this that's twice the length of me. Yeah, about that, yeah. <laughs> She's not yeah, 13 yeah, foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, I think she can't be. She, she, she just holds up with you. Let me hear you. Let, let me have a, let me have a little... Don't, Angela, come on. And Marcus, they're going to see... Angela, would you? Would I what? Would you like to have the snake? I, I would because Come my on, kids let's, will let's be screaming at the because, telly because saying, I can't believe you did This is brave of Angela, because it's not your thing. There's no... There's no um, yeah. Obligation at all here. Yeah, it's not in friend. my contract. But that is... <laughs> God, it's heavy. It's really it's heavy. heavy. Yeah. It's really heavy. So Am I the most snake-nervous people. Person I'm a snake-nervous person. Not phobic, but just nervous. No, I think I'd rather have a kitten. I'd rather have a kitten or I'd rather have a pashmina. But you could possible. wear that, couldn't you? Yeah, only if I had kind of support staff there with me. There we go. Blimey. There we go. I'm worried it's going to nip me somewhere inappropriate. No, they don't nip. They, don't they don't nip? They, they either <laughs> kill or they are at peace. Oh, OK. Uh, okay. okay. Marcus Kelly on Facebook says we should make it mandatory <laughs> for people... touching me. 
We should make it <laughs> mandatory for people who wish to keep reptiles to have relevant training and understanding of the species. This should apply to dogs, yeah. too. Very good. It's doing the tongue thing, sorry. Oh, let's see, let's see. Can you see the close-up on the face? It's just having a... Just, look, it's doing yeah, the tongue thing. Yeah, because you've got some nice perfume how, on. How it's... do you untangle from these guys? <laughs> I'm right. Do you want to upset <laughs> Is Feather Boa while you've got her? The incident where a 31-year-old man 10 years ago kept one of these as a pet and, and woke up dead, was that... Is that not normal, is it? It's not normal. He was um, attacked in the night. Yeah, it, 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 at the end of the day, it is a primal animal and everyone... But it doesn't matter whether it's a hamster, a dog, a parrot, a snake, it doesn't matter. The thing we... The biggest mistake pet owners make is to humanise their animals. Yeah. So you think of them in the same brain that you'd think about yourself. It is an animal. It does have its own ways of, you know, yeah. moving. And so... Just keep the bedroom door shut. Just, yeah. I, I, I like wouldn't... kids. I love them. Yeah, all right. You've done really well there, Angie. <laughs> OK, thank you so much, Donna. Thank you, Feather Boa. Thank you, what Feather a lovely Burr. thing. We loved it. After the break, Storm, Storm loves snakes as well, actually. She'll join us for the papers and everything else, including whether flirting with a chatbot is cheating on your partner and we're going to see how that goes. We'll see you very shortly. Thank you, that was brilliant. Wonderful.